Hi guys, what it is? It is your girl Cadillac. Hi, I am Cadillac Dixon. I am the Draw My Life Prison Wife. I am the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice, hoping to see justice before it all fades to black. Yeah, it's your girl Cadillac. So I'm coming through on Martin Luther King Day. This is Monday, January the 17th. Girl, January about gone. Happy MLK Day. Um, I do have a project reach the world for Martin Luther King. Now, girl, you know I ain't met no Martin Luther King. No, I ain't met him. <laughs> That's one of the people I did meet. But um, I did do a lot of artwork about him. And I will link a, a video of, you know, talking about all of that in the description box below. Um, and it does show where I used to make these extravagant hair pieces because I am a licensed cosmetologist, but girl, you wouldn't tell about these edges at all. <laughs> yes, but I used to do like hair show pieces and I did Martin Luther King in my hair. And on that MLK day, my hair piece ended up on media takeout of all places. Crazy. So your girl done did some things, but this would be the perfect event to go and promote. I would be passing out my little demos and stuff. And that's kind of the reason why I started YouTube. Because, you know, I have, as an artist, a rap artist, you had the demo. But then people want to see you on video, the power of video. So I started my YouTube. That's why if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you just see me spitting verses and stuff. Like, girl, some good, some embarrassing, like embarrassing. And some is good. You know what I mean? But um, that's where I started, and that was what my channel started on. But I would go out to that event and other events just similar to that and pass that demo out everywhere I went. I would press all my own demos. I would make my little sleeves. I would stuff them, and your girl was gone and promoting all over Florida. Uh, free my man. Yes, it did start with one song that I wrote about my husband who was wrongfully convicted and ex excessively sentenced in the state of Florida. If you would like to help our family out, I have been struggling and fighting for my husband for 20 years alone. Um, but if you would like to help, um, linked in the description box are the ways that you can support us. But yeah, so the video first, let me show you what I did. I'm so sorry. I'm going to pick up from my, um, story from yesterday, but the video, you know, the video just stopped. So just a moment, let me show you what I'm working on. So I'm working on printing this flyer out. This is the flyer, the story of Marcello Jackson. I created this. I got to go back and edit this. Uh, -uh Goodbye. That topography, typography there is not that great. But typography and graphic design was always my like uh, thing that I wasn't so great in. But here's the front cover of my flyer. And what I was thinking, what I should do is start linking PDF versions in my um, description box. And girl, people can print them out and help me pass, you know, his story around the world, girl. But yeah, I'm going to print a few copies of that out so that I can um, pass it out. That's one of my Vizzo pictures we call Visitation Vizzo. Girl, I never smiled, but I smiled that day. And he got a big old cheesy smile. This is our daughter and my husband, like right before he went to prison when she was nine months. She was about, she wasn't nine months there, but she was nine months when he went to prison. That's him and her on the day she was born. He was just so happy, just smiling ear to ear. Didn't know two months later, girl, goodbye. This is... It's sideways, but you see along the left side, that's me fighting for my husband. And you can see the age progression. She grew up visiting her father in prison. And then that side is families ripped apart. Marcello Jackson's story. Yes, girl. So i um, about to go print this out. And then I got one more thing to show you guys. I got to show you the sketches I've been working on, girl. Project Resto. Wow. This is a picture my daughter drew. She draws, but she does, like, characters and stuff. So, this was Diane Hart. At the, at the time, like, I'm a scattered artist. I could not find this. When I went to go meet, meet her, she's a senator here in Florida that, well, congresswoman, I'm sorry. 
No, she's a house rep. I'm home all over the place. I'm so sorry, guys. She's a house rep. But when I went to go meet her and give her a project, Reach the World, I can put that in the description box. Um, I couldn't find this, so I had to start all over, girl. And then this is Jessica Kent. This is another YouTuber. I'm working on her um, project, Reach the World. This girl has a powerful story. My Draw My Life's um that i started my channel back off on when i returned back to um youtube during the you know shutdown i dedicated to her her story is powerful she was in prison she gave birth to her daughter in prison and then her daughter daughter was taken from her to you know but she got out upon getting out of prison. That girl got her life together. She was on drugs. She got off of drugs. She used to sell drugs. She got stopped from selling drugs, even though she was tempted when she got back out. And she got her life together, got on YouTube, blew up and got her daughter back together that is proof that you can put your family back together off of youtube and girl i hope i can do the same and now this is the latest this is um i was saying her name wrong i'm so sorry oh that's so disrespectful her name is gloria Sten Steinem. Steinem. i can't say it i kept saying steinman it's stein Stenum. oh gosh Steinem. Steinem. Yes, girl, I got to get that pronunciation right. But yeah, this is a project reached the world for her, which somebody did reach out to her office on our behalf. And girl, they are looking over my husband's case. And I'm hoping that, you know, they will feel compelled to help us break this story. Because I believe that once this man, the world knows this man's story, this man will be free. All right, guys. So let me get back to the little story. Okay, so girl, the manager, like he did not know. This is from yesterday. If you got to uh, go check out part one, I'm sorry. And to catch you up, I got to hurry up because I do got to go pick up my cousin from dialysis. We are headed to the parade. So I do also got to go pick up my nephew and niece so that they can go to the parade with me. So got to hurry up, girl. Um. So yeah, anyway, so... I left off where I was saying the manager didn't know me from nobody, but I would be at the little door drawing my pictures and I drew the storybook. I will link the storybook in the des description box. And somebody, another coworker came by. It was like, oh my gosh, like everybody knew I can draw. And I would be rapping my little songs, re rehearsing my songs, dancing around. So I was just a lively character, like for real. And door greeting. So that I, it was nice there as well. But I couldn't stand that job. <laughs> but yeah, so I used to work on my art forms there. It was like eight hours straight that I could be creating, like for real. So, um, when I, he seen the pictures, he was like, you need to take this to the manager. I'm like, what the heck would I take this to the manager for? I'm not supposed to be sitting at this door, sitting at this door drawing. I'm supposed to be watching all the customers that weren't even coming in because it was overnight. <laughs> but um, so what I ended up doing, that he took my book and showed it to him. And when that manager seen it, he was like, you can draw like this like oh my gosh like can you paint and at the time I couldn't paint but I was like girl I better learn how to paint so I started teaching myself how to paint um I am self-taught in drawing as well well I didn't teach myself to draw I just kind of picked up a pencil and drew but I didn't know how to paint so I kind of self-taught myself how to paint this is pre me you know losing my vision so now I'm legally blind, but back then I had great vision. Like, girl, I could see from one door of Walmart way down to the other. And I do have a story about that, how my um, eyesight just started just dis diminishing, just diminishing. And I don't even, it was crazy. Nobody knew why, nobody knew how, and I was misdiagnosed several times. Um, so anyways, when she showed that artwork, it was like he completely treated me different at that point he was like yes yeah, Sunday you could have Sunday off. you need Sunday to go visit your yes because I went in his office I'm like so you gonna make me work on Sunday that means that my family can never be together that is our only time together it's on Sundays I take our daughter way up the road 
on to go to visitation. And then I would return sometimes and go straight to work overnight off after getting off that road. And he was like, yeah, uh-huh, goodbye, but this is how work go and blah, blah. But after he seen that portfolio, not portfolio, but sketches, he was, he treated me so different. Um, the minute that I would walk past, hi, how you doing? He'll say hi before we say hi, but he never did that before. But yeah, girl, that just goes to show you. But, um, so the whole point of the story was when the shutdown happened, all those frames that I had created back then by hand, it was crazy. Once I became a graphic designer, I started being able to actually make them like CD covers, but now we don't use CDs, but I had to straw, um, sketch them sometimes and I would write them in marker. My business, my first business card was hand drawn like i'm actually able to create these real things like prior i would have just drew marcello's flyer but now you know i graphically designed it now girl it's so crazy like how life just comes full circle now i can do that's what i was missing back then i didn't have promotion and i didn't have money for promotion but now i can create my own promotion like for real but um I had re-graphic design, like I took every slide into Photoshop and just Photoshop, Photoshop, photo. I love Photoshop, girl. Photoshopped everything and these frames look immaculate. I got my little chicken scratch hand right off of there and I, I put real words in there and I was so proud of it. It took me a week or so to finish and when I posted to Facebook, Girl, even now, it ain't even hardly got no views. And it just kind of just pissed me off. I'm like, it doesn't matter how good I am. Nobody pays no attention to me. So my art is not for me. My art is for you. If you don't view it, it means nothing. So that's when, you know, I kind of got pissed off. And I'm like, I'm deleting everything. I'm deleting Facebook, Instagram. This before I got on TikTok. I'm deleting my YouTubes. Like, for real. I'm And I went walking. Girl, I love to walk around the neighborhood. I was so angry. And I'm walking angry. I'm getting rid of all this stuff. And something said, try one more time. One more time. And I said, Okay. I'm going to try one more time. And if it don't work, I promise I'm going to quit. But I said, if I'm going to try, I better try the right way. And that's when I started watching tutorials on how to do YouTube and this and that. I enrolled in Sean Kennel courses. I enrolled in Aaron On Demand courses. These are content creators that teach other content creators how to do their channels. Girl, I ain't got time to do every single thing that they tell you because I squeeze in my YouTube and my I also run my cousin's YouTube. I squeeze that stuff in from nowhere, like squeezing blood from a turnip. But um. And a lot of the best practices I was doing, like the thumbnails, I was photoshopping all them thumbnails for his channel and my channel, filling out all them description boxes, which I do have um, carpal tunnel in my hands and um, nerve damage. So it, I can't type. I peg type. So it's like extremely hard to do all of that. And I would spend all that time creating videos for crickets. Nobody watches. Nobody but my own self. Like, girl. I'll be watching my own videos, but I just lately was like, heck with all that. I ain't doing no description boxes. Don't nobody, I ain't doing no keywords, you know, research. They want you to do research on your keywords in that box. That box need to be filled out. I said, I ain't doing that no more. I ain't spending two hours Photoshopping a thumbnail just for nobody to watch. Like I would literally go on Facebook and beg people to watch and nobody would watch girl so i had completely stopped all that um my channel is hard for me to stop my channel though because it's kind of like compelling me to do it and i do know the reason that i do it and if i give up then you know my husband loses so i can't quite give up but when it's not moving i start said i need to shift in another direction and that's when um, i'm trying to get more into building my graphic design business because as i went off on this youtube tangent for the last year and a half girl 
I just graduated as a graphic designer. Why the heck I ain't got my stuff together, my portfolio, my my LinkedIn. Like, girl, I ain't checked that LinkedIn in so long. I need to revamp that. So I do want to take you guys on that journey of um, just building my business and fighting for my men. All right. Anyways, on that note, it's your girl, Cadillac. <laughs>